Hi, I'm Liz. I'm Cody. And welcome to Unit 10, Tonga Disaster. This is a really unfortunate story about this small Pacific Island nation mm -hmm. of Tonga. Um, and on January 14th of this year, 2022, um, they had a volcanic eruption. Um, and the volcanic eruption caused a 7.6 magnitude earthquake. Mm -hmm. um, and it also caused tsunami or tidal waves that spread not just through Tonga itself, but to other countries mm -hmm. around the world. Very far um, away. A very far away, so it was a huge natural mm -hmm. disaster in Tonga. Magnitude. Magnitude. And a little bit more about Tonga. It's, you know, not, it's a small country, relatively speaking, mm -hmm. but also large. So it's actually made up of 170 islands, um, which cover total area of uh, the area three times the size of the Korean Peninsula but I think the islands themselves are relatively small yeah. so it's a large area of ocean but <laughs> small right. land mass right um, and it really is already somewhat isolated from mm -hmm. the world um, they get some revenue from tourism mm -hmm. um, you know, it's in the Pacific Islands or Pacific um, and tropical and beautiful. Um, but unfortunately, post-COVID, they have not had that many tourists. Revenue. Revenue. And they've actually only had one case of COVID because of their isolation from the world. And this has really caused even more problems now um, with this disaster happening. And we'll talk about that in the review. Um, but, uh, going on that, what is the worst natural disaster your country has faced recently? Uh, well, since we're both from America, mm -hmm. um, I don't know, like, there, there's always some kind of natural disaster. So Lots of natural disasters. Our, our land is so vast that we have so many mm -hmm. different kind of climates and geographies. Uh -huh. uh, we have a variety of natural <laughs> disasters, you name it. It's yeah, so I think we have everything. <laughs> mm -hmm. Um, the most recent, I think, was some bad tornadoes that happened in mm -hmm. the fall. Okay. I think, you know, wiped out some cities in the right. kind of tornado alley area. And that was mm -hmm. unexpected. It happened late in the year. Mm -hmm. But, you know, coming up soon actually is hurricane season in mm -hmm. America. And that's a good swath of the southern and eastern area of America right. that's potentially at risk every year. Mm -hmm. And hurricanes are the, I think, costliest disasters mm -hmm. um, next to the wildfires in California. Right. But hurricanes are just devastating. Mm -hmm. um, that's all I can think about. Can you think of anything else for America? Um, so recently, I'm not sure about this year, but every year in the winter time, mm -hmm. you always hear about a snowpocalypse or a snowmageddon. Oh, yeah. People um, trapped on a highway. People you know. <laughs> trapped on highways, people sliding on the ice. Mm. Um, so the Northeast where I'm from, Snow in the wintertime is a really big issue and it closes down the roads mm. and it closes down the schools right. um, and yeah, causes a lot of big issues. So that yeah. on the east coast, especially the northeast, um, snow is a really mm. big problem. I was legitimate the amount of, you know, uh, kind of snow squalls or mm -hmm. even, you know, blizzards that you have. Mm -hmm. Even though I'd heard of blizzard, I'd studied blizzard, I'd seen it in movies, I still have never seen a blizzard in my mm -hmm. life. <laughs> Korea yes. or Seoul, I don't think has blizzards in Seoul, but... Not too many. Yeah, um, I'm obviously from the southern area of America. Mm -hmm. Never seen a blizzard. <laughs> yeah, so depending on where you are, I've never experienced a flood or a tornado. So depending on I where have, you yeah. live, <laughs> the disasters are completely different. Right. And now for the language focus. The first point is largely. So for example, the town that I grew up in was largely residential with some small businesses and even some farms. And for the second one, among other things, I really like the atmosphere and the food of the restaurant among many other things. Okay, and that is all for the preview of Unit 10. We will see you in the review.